Hi, if you want to avoid main theoretical lines with white in Queen's Gambit declined, this video is definitely for you. I will show you a rare line where you can get a fresh and interesting position. And I just found few Grandmasters games here in this variation. I will show you the main ideas of this line. My name is Pavel Martinov, I welcome you to my YouTube channel and let's start. position of queen's gambit decline appears after several moves in the opening and after bishop e7 bishop g5 is a common move that is very popular but i want to pay your attention to a rare move g4 actually such ideas are quite typical for uh slav uh variation but here g4 appears so rare so it's really interesting what is the idea you can't take on g4 because i will play rook g1 knight f6 and rook takes g7 and in some cases i have the idea of knight g5 and i destroyed the position of black king basically so that's not good uh for black so g4 is a pawn pawn and here black have several ideas so for example quite logically c5 because as we know strategically, if our opponent doing something on the side, we need to counter him in the center. Other c5, I suppose that d takes c5 is interesting. I think that it was never played on the practical, but it's quite interesting. For example, knight d7 to take on c5, takes, takes c5, takes. And this endgame is quite good for white. I think that, yeah, our development is not that, that good, but we still have extra pawn. And there's uh, for sure playable and computer lab is for white, basically. So c5, uh, maybe it's not the best for black here. Uh, let's cover some other sidelines. So for example, h6 to stop this pawn, yeah, uh, against g5. g5 is also interesting in some cases, but before I suppose bishop f4 looks very nice. The idea is that I just want to play e3, uh, do something with my bishop on f1, the rook can comes to g1, and uh, castle right now, it's uh, quite dangerous because with help of these pawns, I will push g5 and unlock the position of black king. So maybe d takes e4, e3, 95, the idea is to take on f4 in some case, but actually this position after takes, 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 bishop d6, queen d2, knight d7, and long castle is really, I think, unclear, because uh, we are going to the different types of castle, it's hard to imagine the black uh, is able to go long castle, and uh, yeah, the pair of bishops and bad pawn structure is minuses of white, but still we have some ideas of d5, f5, or g5, uh, and start an attack. So I think in blitz game, this position is easier to play with white, because I will play king b1, in some case I have some useful moves, before I will start my main attack. So h6, maybe also not that good for black. Uh, d takes c4 is the principal one option, and here white can play, for example, g5, knight d5, e4, takes, takes. This position starts to be really interesting. It, it, it's basically, I think, uh, never played on the serious level in the classical chess. So b5, for example, a4, the variation can be like this, b4, takes on c4, castle, castle. If b takes c4, I will go, uh, c3, I'm sorry, I will go queen b3. Uh, so a5 looks logical for black to connect the pawn structure and save the nice pawn on b4 that is actually a passing pawn. Bishop d2 in this position is really unclear. So uh, you need to be a lover of such types of situations to play it with white for sure, but still looks interesting. Returning back after d takes c4, white is able to play e4 here. Bishop b4 looks very logical because black wants to take on e4 at some case. So queen c2, c5, a3. And here one game was with queen a5, but that is losing immediately because I can take on b4, take on a1, and take on c4. So knight c6 trying to finish the development, takes knight b4, queen d1, castle, and here like castle can be, because in the game there was a g5 that's not that strong. Castle, queen a5, bishop g5, knight c6, and just h3 here just a calm move to protect the g4 pawn and basically we can see that uh, black in the real troubles because it's hard to develop the pieces for them and computer says that this position is winning for white but it looks very dangerous anyway from the human side for black as well so uh in that position returning back after a3 the move number eight queen a5 is not that good so bishop takes c3 normal takes 
takes on d4 and here is the position is really weird. I mean, like, for example, bishop c4 can be queen c7 because if knight c6, g5 is not that good for black. So queen c7 trying to use the uh, position of black, of white pieces takes, takes on e4, bishop b5 here and this position looks not that good for white. Computer states it's okay because the compensation with pair of bishop is here. But personally, I don't like this for white so much. So um, the, actually, the variation also can be c takes d4 here with white. Knight c6, rook b1, takes, takes, takes f3. So seems to be a really weird position. That uh, interesting to play, basically. So you want to avoid the main lines, main theory, and get the position where you have chances to have an interesting game. So, uh, and the main move is castle, looks very logical, because we don't have the pawn on h6 here, so g5 seems not that dangerous. Anyway, we need to push g5 here, knight goes to e4, because if knight goes to e8, after like rook g1, d takes e4, bishop f4, the knight on e8 is really passive, I want to go like e3, bishop c4, and that looks good for white. So knight f4 is a very interesting move, and here... Mami Diarov played queen c2 with white. Um, I don't see that that is maybe the strongest move. Not, not, that, not that much sure. Because like after knight takes c3, bc takes bishop g2, c5. This position looks very good for black basically. We have a strange mix of Catalan system uh, with the queen's gambit. And the pawn on g5 looks a bit, a bit weird really. So... Basically, his opponent, Ruslan Panamarov, played knight takes g5, also interesting. Takes on g5, takes, and here, like, some variations can be, like, even e3 is possible. For example, bishop f6, castle. And here, computer suggests a really interesting opportunity, b5. Looks very unnatural. The idea is, after c takes, I want to push a6, and black wants to unlock this king position and unlock lines for the rook. And that that's can be dangerous for white. So, uh, in the game was h4, and here uh, Panamarov played uh, bishop h6, and in the main line, like bishop h6, e3, so uh, his opponent got some compensation and some interesting position here. Yes, like f3 was here, king b1, the position is really, really unbalanced. But I think that bishop f6 on the move 9 was better for black, yes, and for example, like, Castle, knight c6, rook g1, d takes c4. And this position looks looks normally for black because it's hard to create an attack with white. Um, but still, white has open g file here to attack the king. So you can try to play this position as well. Um, that's also, also can be interesting. Returning back, so queen c2 I don't like so much. Uh, mainly, I think that queen d3 is more uh, more interesting variation. Queen d3, the idea is that takes on c3 and takes, and the pawn on c4 is protected. So after d takes, queen takes. Yusupenko tried to uh, to play the this with white against Alexeyenko. B6, bishop g2, bishop b7, h4 to protect the pawn on g5, c5, castle, knight c6. And here, uh, Yusupenko played queen a4, also common move. I mean, like the position that was in the game, knight f5, bishop f4, takes, takes, rook c8, rook fc1, is also quite interesting. For example, queen a8, queen d1, queen b5. Uh, here, e3 is possible, keeps the tension. a4, queen f5, e3 was in the game as well possible. So this position is uh, quite unclear with the both chances. An interesting variation is coming after, like, not to play queen a4 here, but to play d takes c5. And I will just show you the variation, uh, like the computer suggestion, because it's quite funny. So bishop takes c5, queen g4. The white's idea basically is to push h5, h6, or j6 here. So queen e7, for instance, h5, rook c8, h6, f5. Trying to counter white's activity here. Takes, takes, bishop g5, rook g6, and some weird computer variation. 95 years, imagine. Using the spin, I want to take on a 3 I'm not taking on c5, so it's an extra piece and liberation for white here, but nothing happens. Bishop e7 here, knight f3, here, rook takes g2, takes, king d2, f3, here, takes, takes, 
king f7, bishop b4, and this needs to be a draw, basically. That that will be a draw because the bishops are different type of colors. So to the move number 26 right now, but it's also like, I mean, funny, funny situation that computers suggest something like that. So queen d3 is more useful move because you want to protect the c4 pawn and all these uh, variations, even with knight takes g5, uh, I think uh, a bit better for white because the, the pawn is protected and the queen can take on c4. So uh, I mean that there is an interesting variation. It's a very rare variation. Even I checked the database of Lee Chess games. Uh, it's not that regular to play this variation with white. You can try it, especially in the blitz. Um, it's like a trick to avoid main lines. Uh, avoid main theory and get a fresh position, but you need to count that as quite risky for white. But I hope that you enjoyed uh, some variations with me. Uh, don't forget to left a comment below the video and thank you for staying on Pyro Chess. Have a nice day.